In our previous episode, we talked about a unique air defense system created by Ukrainian military forces. Perhaps in other countries, this is not practiced. We take risks because we move, but we are maneuverable. Regarding weapons, we use machine guns. The main task of our groups is to identify. Watch this. This is how on the front in Central Europe, the armed forces of Ukraine effectively repel daytime air attacks by the Russian army with the launch of shots. And today, we will talk about the important work of mobile fire groups at night, when conditions are even more complicated, and the tasks, as always, are critically important. We work in anti-aircraft defense. Our mobile fire groups are designed to destroy shake drones. Shake drones, which used to fly blindly towards a target, have now evolved to be GPS guided, following pre-planned routes. Unlike before when shake drones flew in straight lines, they can now approach positions from different angles, even circling them. They can release reconnaissance drones ahead of them, followed by other groups. Furthermore, shape drones have changed their colors. Initially, they flew in bright colors, but now they come in shades of gray and even black. However, our mobile fire groups spot them, report in, and get to work. Typically, mobile fire groups use machine guns, both domestically produced and those from our foreign partners. How do we operate at night? Well, we started with flashlights. We bought flashlights for $25, and they illuminated up to 250 meters. It wasn't much, but it was better than nothing. Volunteers played a significant role in helping us. They took spotlights used for various shows and media events, modified them, and turned them into powerful anti-aircraft spotlights. These are anti-aircraft searchlights. Previously, these devices illuminated distances from several tens to several hundred meters, creating light effects for entertainment shows. But after modernization by Ukrainians, now they are a special site for the destruction of shots. When we detect an enemy target, we aim and open fire. At that moment, the driver mechanic illuminates the target with a spotlight and tracks it while we engage. This is done to improve visibility of the enemy object for us. Mobile fire groups protect the Ukrainian sky from Russian shade attacks both day and night, operating machine guns of both domestic and foreign production. This is the American M240 machine gun, which has a high rate of firepower. Well, I'm working with an American M240 NATO standard machine gun. It has a caliber of .308, which is 7.62 by 51 millimeters. The M240 machine gun is used both in infantry combat and by air defense forces for the destruction of shots, specifications. Entered service, 1977, caliber, 7.62 by 51 millimeters NATO, weight empty, approximately 12.5 kilograms, length, 1,245 millimeters, barrel length, 627 millimeters, practical rate of fire, 250 rounds per minute, magazine capacity, 100, 200, 250 round belts, sighting range, 1,500 meters, range of effective fire, 800 meters. In automatic mode, it fires quite densely. The rate of fire depends on the belt and whether there is a second feeder holding that belt. If there is one, then the rate of fire can go up to 1,000 rounds per minute. Regarding the shooting range, in this position, it's approximately 800 to 900 meters. This is its effective range at which we can hit the target. Mobile fire groups use them to furrow as a stationary weapon, put it on a tripod and fire. This is also a Ukrainian handmade. The homemade tripod, we also watched various movies and videos and noticed how they make it there. By the way, it's very convenient and stable. This is the most optimal option. One of the main advantages of the machine gun is its fast reloading, but there are also disadvantages. But its design, in my opinion, is inconvenient to the extreme, simply horrible, all because of the uncomfortable stock placement. Other than that, there are no real issues with it. What's interesting is that our counterparts sometimes jam, while this one, despite having more parts, has never jammed, so it works more reliably. It also likes to be lubricated. Overall, the machine gun is interesting in itself, but it's heavy. You can't carry it around like our Pokemon model. Watch this. Pokemon is the military's nickname for the Kalashnikov machine gun, another fighter on a tripod in the mobile fire group. 
The great advantage of this machine gun is its weight. It's lighter than the Enta 40, weighing only 7.5 kilograms, while the Enta 40 weighs 12.5 kilograms. Let's say it's just right for one person, for a strong guy. Specifications. Service start year 1969. Caliber 7.6 to by 54 millimeters or loaded weight 7.5 kilograms. Total length 1,160 millimeters. Barrel length 645 millimeters. Muzzle speed 825 meters per second. Magazine capacities. Options of 100, 200, or 250 round belts. Sighting range 1,500 meters. Effective firing range 800 meters. The Kalashnikov has a minimum number of moving parts making it easy and reliable to use. <laughs> well, its structure, the body, the replaceable barrel, which is replaced after 400 shots, and the cartridge belt housing, that's about it. The barrel is replaced very quickly. It takes literally three seconds for one person to do it. To carry out combat missions at night, when it's dark, we use tracer rounds. We load them into the belt after a certain number of regular armor-piercing rounds. And they help us illuminate the target, showing the direction of the shot. Both spotlights and tracer rounds, they adjust our shooting, helping us understand where to direct the fire. One shape takes 50 rounds of ammunition. Ammunition for the Kalashnikov machine gun is different. And in this case Yuri works with LPS bullets, which are steel core bullets. They are more armor piercing and heavier. But there's a nuance here. Its rate of fire is 650 shots. However, in practice, we have 250 because we shoot in short bursts of three for rounds. Well, it's just a rational use of the machine gun and a sparing mode to prevent the barrel from overheating. Well, it likes cleanliness like any other weapon. It's desirable not to get sand in it. Watch this. And this is the Zustava M75, an anti-aircraft gun. In my platoon, we have such equipment. It's a Slovak anti-aircraft installation. The Czechs gave it to us, and now we work with it. Specifications, length 4,100 millimeters, width 1,500 millimeters, height 1,600 millimeters, weight 275 kilograms, maximum range 5,500 meters, sighting range 1,000 meters, cyclic rate of fire 650 to 750 rounds per minute. The system is equipped with three sighting devices, an anti-aircraft reflex sight for targeting, an auxiliary anti-aircraft mechanical sight, and another sight used for firing at ground targets. How it works, we have a wheeled base that can be detached. The hitch, we modified it ourselves. Well, everything is simple. One person sits down. We switch the weapon from combat to transport mode. And unlock it. Then we remove another lock. And that's how we work. The principle of operation. There's a 60 round drum. Our rounds are fragmentation tracer. They self-destruct. There's a small charge inside. It burns during flight. And after a certain time, let's say after 5 seconds, this small charge detonates and explodes the shell. The Zustava M75 machine gun can be fitted with a telescopic sight, but with my height, the soldier says it will not work, however, as you can see, there is an additional sight. This is one more life hack from a Ukrainian soldier. Now, what did we come up with? Since the majority of enemy objects come at us at night, what did we do with the guys? We installed a laser sight here. And now, like in cowboy movies, you quickly aim with the laser, shoot a short burst, analyze how much lead you need. And by firing a second burst, you'll have a successful result. It is not always possible to see whether you hit or not, says the soldier. You can hit the engine of a shade, but it will still fly for 15 kilometers, and only then will it fall. We haven't shot down a Shahid on this ZU yet, but the guys we trained within the training center, they shot them down. Moreover, they shot down both Shahids and rockets. But mostly Shahids. We communicate constantly, stay in touch, and tell each other our stories. 
Every destroyed shade is a good thing, but the guys say we should not relax. Ukraine has transformed over this period. We have motivation. We are on our land. We are Ukrainians. We will never surrender our land. One of the important components of Ukraine's air defense is the vast number of mobile fire groups, which protect the Ukrainian skies and every Ukrainian. Slava Ukraine! Watch this! Using the military equipment and skillful Ukrainian soldiers will stop the Russian evil that wants to spread throughout the world. Remember, war is algebra.